just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Okay, warehouse refrigeration. Uh, I just worked on that evaporator over there. Superheat was zero. 20, uh, almost 20, 26 turns to maintain seven degrees Fahrenheit. I come to check on its sister evaporator. This one's sitting at 22 degrees of superheat. So for all you youngins out there that don't do superheats, well, we're gonna do it. I've attached the thermistor to my suction line back here at the outlet of the evaporator. <clears throat> I've loosened this uh, adjustment nut and uh, we have to remove spring pressure so this uh, valve will open up more. So what does it look like to remove spring pressure? You have to imagine this set screw as a, uh, as a plunger. As you run it into the valve body, it squishes the spring, which makes this power head have to do more work to push this valve open. I'm gonna take some of that load off that spring in quarter turn increments. So we're gonna do four. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. And we're gonna, now we're flooding, we're flowing more refrigerant. So our suction pressure is increasing because we're flowing more refrigerant and our superheat is decreasing because more liquid refrigerant is making its way further into the coil. So I'm going to sit here, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to come back to you. Well, I think we can make another adjustment now. I'm at 18. It's not a very long system. So that was four quarter turns. So I'm gonna go five, six, seven quarter turns out. And we'll see where that takes us. So the valve is uh, incredibly responsive, which is a good thing. Now I wanna get this down to about eight degrees. So that was eight, if I counted right. There's nine, there's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 quarter turns. And you can audibly hear when there's more refrigerant flowing. I don't know if you can pick it up on the video. But you can hear when you've got more refrigerant flow. So we're passing through 15, it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and pause this and uh, come back. Oh, I forgot, this is an iPhone. You're not allowed to pause. You can only stop it. So superheat adjustments are critical. Uh, in addition to these two issues, the oil pump lost almost 35 psi on its output for no reason i was running 96 out on the pump and it dropped all the way down to 72 which put my uh net oil from 48 down to like uh, 20 23 and uh, i've got the head pressure elevated to try and move oil through the system so i went ahead and ordered a new pump i'm just have that pump swapped out this afternoon your oil pump should maintain pump outlet pressure. Uh, as long as no uh, system pressures change, your oil pressure should not fluctuate. Okay, well, I hope this helped someone. Uh, that's all I got. And we are now at 10. I might shoot past. I'm going to camp on it, but you get the gist. I want it to land at 8, and I'll get it there. Okay, thanks for watching.